What's up, everybody? Doc Dog1985. There's levels to this. All right, guys. Just want to talk to you guys real quick about this, man. So, obviously, you guys know what today is. I had a long day at work, finished work, hit the gym for a little bit, came home, ate, took care of some few things I had to take care of around the house. And um, now I'm looking at my TV and got up the Xbox Series X on. And Forza 5 is the game that I'm about to play. But before I hit play, I wanted to talk about this, okay? It feels good to know that it feels good to make a decision. And as time goes on, that decision keeps proving itself to be the right one for you. You know what I mean? Like if you changed, you know, jobs recently or you you moved or you just closed on a house or whatever and, and and you're in that home now or you're in that new job or you met somebody new and you gave them a chance or whatever and now as, as months have gone by maybe a year has gone by a few months have gone by over and over and over and over and over again it keeps getting solidified that you made the right decision look man and of course, nothing is perfect. It's probably something a little bit better that you would like in a house. Maybe that person has a, maybe they walk with a limp. I don't know. Maybe your job, you don't like one of your coworkers because they smell funny, but everybody else is cool, right? That's the way I feel about my purchase of the Xbox Series X and my subscription to Game Pass. And today, the reason it makes even more sense for me, I can only speak for myself, is because I've always been conscious of how much I would spend on this hobby that is video games to me. Now, I got to give a shout out to um, to my dude, Rome, Rome Rush. Go check out his channel. A long time ago, he made a video and he said something to the fact that to some people, this is a hobby. To other people, this is a passion, right? Gaming, that is, right? Now, if something is a passion for you, there's a certain level of money that you're willing to spend on it, right? There's a there's a there's a difference to some, to some people. If it's just a hobby, or it's just something that you do every once in a while, whatever. Then yeah, you look at it a little bit more conscious, right? For me, I can admit that gaming to me is is just a hobby. I, I wouldn't really consider it like a diehard passion because I do pay attention to how much I'm going to spend on a game and all that other stuff. Now, it's funny because I say that and I mean, you could definitely be like, well, if it was just a hobby, you wouldn't have a YouTube channel on it. You wouldn't have a Twitch about it. You wouldn't be spending $180 on an elite controller. You wouldn't be buying five controllers for one console. You wouldn't be having a PlayStation, an Xbox, a PC, and an NVIDIA Shield. Like, I, I get it. I get it. But trust me, compared to what people actually do out there, I'm just, this is just a hobby for me. But I was always conscious about how much I would spend on games. And... When I, when I really looked at Game Pass, I only looked at Game Pass this generation. I know it was out before. I don't know what it was like before. But when I really look at Game Pass and I looked at it this generation, to me, it just made a lot of sense. So I went, I went ahead and I bought it. Never once did I do the free month trial. I didn't do the $1 thing. I've been paying $15 a month since I've gotten Game Pass. I think maybe the first month was free, whatever. But I never did anything else. It's $15 a month since I've gotten Game Pass, right? And I have been satisfied, arguably, I can tell you this, I have been satisfied with Game Pass as a service more than I have been satisfied with the Xbox Series X itself as a console. I almost look at as, as the service as the cake and the Xbox Series X is the icing on top because that's the best place to play the games that are on this service. Now, I've used my phone to play it and I loved it. I've used my Xbox One S in Illinois where my kids are and played games on that and loved it. My son got to play Sunset Overdrive as well as I did because um, it was on Game Pass and on the Xbox One S and he loved the game. I loved the game. But today is another day where Game Pass gets solidified again. This game, Forza Horizon 5, I haven't played it. I'm about to play it. And I'm, and I'm going to stream it live on Twitch. So come follow me on Twitch. I'll probably play it around 8, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. So depending on what time you're watching this, I'm probably live right now. So come to my Twitch. It's DocDark1985. You'll find me. I'll turn the camera on for you guys and everything so you guys can see my reaction. All right. Probably 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern time. I'll play this. But here's the deal. 
the way this has solidifies itself for me is because, as I said, to me, this is a hobby and I pay attention to where I spend my money. I don't buy games as soon as they come out. I'm very frugal with that $60 price point, very frugal with that $70 price point. I bought Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart when I had the PS5 here just to see, you know, what it was about. And I regret that purchase. I regret that purchase like crazy. Not because it was Ratchet & Clank. Don't come at me, Sony Ponies. It's just because it was $70 and I don't feel like that game was worth $70. It was a great game. I just don't feel like it was. it's worth $70. But... I've been seeing so much talk about Forza Horizon 5 from everyone that's been playing it. The scores, which you got to take with a grain of salt, right? We all know this. The reviews, people that I know that have played it that say this game is just amazing. Doc, you got to try it. You got to try it. You got to try it. And today I get to try it. And the only reason I get to try it, it's because it is on Game Pass. Because I got to be honest with you, no matter how great or how much hype this game would have been, if this game was not on Game Pass, I would really have to think hard about dropping $60 on it. That's just me. You might not have that problem. That's just me. But the fact that I don't have to worry about that, man, Game Pass is solidifying itself over and over and over again. Because now there is a game, a brand new game that's coming out that I get to play. I never get to play brand new games. I always am playing old games. I mean, I just beat God of War 2018. I'm literally playing Resident Evil 4 now on my Xbox Series X. So I've been playing old games. I've been catching up on these old games. But now I get to play a game that I really want to play. And I don't have to worry about drop, dropping that $60. And what's crazy is the last video that I made, I kept saying that I was going to get to play it on November 11th. And the reason I made that mistake, people were correcting me like, no, Doc, it's Tuesday, it's the 9th. The reason I made that mistake is because there's another game coming out on November 11th that I'm excited to play. Really excited to play because I have not played it yet. And that's that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the remastered edition or whatever it is that they're calling it. I get to play that when it drops because I have Game Pass. At this point, there's nothing you can say to me about Game Pass. Now, like I said, 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time. Come on by Doc Dog 1985 Twitch channel. Come chill with us. Watch me play Forza Horizon 5, see my horrible driving skills, and see my live reaction to this game. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to play with the lights on and everything so you guys can see me with the camera. But anybody that plays video games know these games look way better with all the lights off. And the only thing you're looking at is that screen. So once I get into the game, I might say peace to you guys and just enjoy the rest of the night playing it. And if you playing and you want to play with me, like, yo. Come on by, man. Maybe we'll have a little convoy down through Mexico and we'll chill. I don't know, man. Dog Dog went on A5. Yo, there's levels to this. Microsoft, thank you. Game Pass, thank you. For now, you are still a great value. Understand this. I will continue paying my $15 a month as long as you continue giving me a great value. And you have set the bar really, really high. I, I also subscribe to PS Now because I like subscription services. But it's just not the same. We out. Peace.